If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So before I get to talking about this surprisingly um, very fun and enjoyable game, I want to apologize for the video quality um, in regards to the frame rate because it may seem a little low. Uh, I was playing this game at 60 frames, but for some reason, uh, this is one of those games on PC that the uh, third-party recording software has problems detecting. I was using uh, Action Marillus, which is my primary recorder, which, you know, uh, I used to uh, uh, record all my PC gameplay. It's great, great quality. For some reason, that wasn't working when I recorded. The gameplay would just be, uh, the, the video would be all black or it would freeze. Then I tried my backup, uh, which is, uh, you know, the GeForce Experience Shadow Play. Shadow Play, for some reason, just wouldn't record it at all. So I had to resort to my my last uh, line of defense of, for recording, which was DX Tori. But the problem with DX Tori and why it I pretty much stopped using it but still kept it as a backup is DX Story has some issues recording games at 60 frames per second even though you set it to 60 frames and if you when you look in the video details it says 60 frames I can when I put it in Sony Vegas I was easily able to tell the video was not at 60 frames it was at a stuttery 30 so I apologize for the frame rate but let's talk about Verdum so Verdum was a game um, is a game that was uh, available through through early access for a while they finally re actually released the game um, today you know it's, it's been removed from early access and it's been fully released on Steam and it is a realistic World War one um, first-person shooter so it's not like the other first-person shooters uh, you've probably played um, it's not like you know a World War a, a Call of Duty World War game or even a Medal of Honor uh, World War game It's much more hardcore than that um, they went for a realistic, uh, authentic approach. They kind of pretty much uh, went for a simulation rather than an arcade t type of game. And this was actually my third match playing. And I did, I went 18 and 12 my first game. Um, I don't remember what I did my second game, but I, I got into, the, I went into the 20s. I went 20 and something in this game. And I was actually a little surprised I did that well because it's not just a pick up and play game. This game is not for the faint hearted. If, you, if you're going to get upset at things like dying uh, within the first hit, there is no radar. There's a map at the bottom of the screen, but there's no radar blip telling you where your enemies are at. There, th this game doesn't hold your hand or anything like that. It's not on the level of simulation like Arma is or anything like that but it reminded me and it brought me back to the days that I liked in multiplayer game because it's a multiplayer game game by the way there's no uh, there's no campaign it's multiplayer and and it brought me back because a lot of you may hear me hear me uh, complain in the past about how games were back then no map well no radar no uh, none of these perks and, and crutches and abilities and things like that your skill is really what dictated how well you did and this really brought me back to those days that's not to say the game is any by any means perfect or doesn't have its own set of issues you know there are some besides the fact that uh, you know I was using DAX story there does seem to be some frame rate issues um, uh, th there's definitely spawning issues I can tell you that right off the bat uh, I was in the previous game I was in I shot a guy and I, I killed him and I turned around and killed another one it was that guy I just killed I swear to God I literally killed him I turned around he was right there and I shot him it was cheap as hell and it was unfair and the same thing has, has happened to me where I where I was just killed by a guy I spawned and literally the same guy killed me it, it was like it was like the Twilight Zone I'm like did that really happen but regardless of that I was just surprised at how fun um, I was having with this game. I never heard about it prior prior to today. Um, I I saw I, I first read about it um, through a game through GameSpot. They were talking about it, saying it was being released from uh, early access. I took I took a look at the, at the trailer and some gameplay people have uh, put up in the past, um, and I said I'm gonna give it a try. And I really liked it. Like right off the bat, my first match. Like I said, even though I finished 18 and 12, I must have started off like zero and five I lie to you not um, because literally they put you they put you in the game 
and you can get shot from anywhere like it's pretty all that open land is no man's is no man's land because this is based on trench warfare which is what world war one was like so you know there's not any safe zones you can get shot from anywhere there's no spawn protection or anything like that you actually have to play smart and strategic you can't just this this would be a, a, a call of duty players worst nightmare practically because if you just walk out there or stick your head out um, in a dangerous spot you could easily get shot down right so you really want to kind of stay in the trenches and even though that's the way you kind of got to play I can't say camping is a problem in this game as, as far as I've seen so far which was surprising because you would think in this type of game where you die in one shot um, yeah there are people uh, you know staying in one spot sniping but for the most part I saw everybody moving around right they they uh you know they went they stopped they went and they stopped that's kind of how they play it because someone could easily walk up behind you it's a big uh open map big enough for you to uh snipe across the map from but it's it's small enough that someone could easily uh you know circle around the map and kill you or you know they could, they could just spawn anywhere in the map and come behind you so it, it's not um to the point where you could just camp you gotta keep moving so there's definitely a learning curve and my first match one of the things that frustrated me was the fact that when obviously there's two different types of aiming sensitivity which i didn't check prior to playing my first game one uh just um when you're out of the scope when you're de-scoped and running around like this uh and then there's another sensitivity which is the aiming sensitivity when you're scoped in and there's a few different rifles by the way I chose the Gewer I believe that's how you pronounce it because that that's actually a rifle that I was familiar with from other World War II games so I'm like uh, I'll just go with the Gewer um, and you can choose to put a you can choose to put a scope on it you can choose not to uh, depending on the map I chose to use I chose to use a scope um, you know because I wanted a little bit more uh, accuracy on the distance and everything like that the game is twenty dollars on Steam I recommend this game if you are probably an old school type of gamer or uh, someone who enjoys more simulation than arcade uh, like, like I said if you are into the complete Call of Duty just balls to the wall just running out there shooting fast-paced no nah, you're, you're not you're not gonna like this if you're one of those who uh, complains that there's not any of those modern features and crutches in the game because it is like I said pretty bare bones and it really just depends on your skill, how good your aim is, and how smart you are, and uh, you know how, how you play. There are two game modes. This is a free for all match, and the other one is a more strategic mode, which I haven't played. It's pretty much uh, a kind of tug of war, where um, it's two teams, and you can uh, command a, a AI squad to um, do certain actions to kind of give you the um the advantage in, on the battlefield so it's kind of like a trench warfare tug of war i haven't played that yet you know i've just only uh played this so you know it's a it's a fun game it, it's cheap um obviously it's not the best visuals you've you've ever seen or anything like that that's not what it's about it's really just about the uh the gameplay and this this kind of match can go either way you could be on a kill streak as you probably saw that i was on for a while um, and then you could you you could spawn the next three times and get shot down um, at at any time. So it's really just that type of game. So it's all about trench rifle warfare. There's not those other ga guns as far as I've seen. Um, I don't know about the other mode, but as far as I know, this gonna this game is all about rifle warfare. And the good thing about that is that could mean close to mid to long range gunfights. You know, uh, I actually it's not like uh, Sniper Elite which I played that multiplayer and when actually when I got on that multiplayer for like Sniper Elite 3 um, as far as the PvP the versus mode that that, mo that multiplayer died really fast um, and the gameplay wasn't really fun because it was literally just all about the long distance sniping game this this one could range from all three of those distances you could shoot one guy you know right next to you and then the next the next kill you get could be halfway across the map you know it, it, it's kinda like that and it's fun cuz it really creates this these type of tense realistic situations you know it wasn't like sniper elite where everybody was completely stationary like I said 
uh, even though you have to be very careful on this game and can't just run out there, everybody wasn't just necessarily camping or anything like that. And like I said, I really enjoyed it simply because it didn't have those all these perks, abilities, and crutches that modern day game games have. So I really enjoyed it for that reason. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking because there's really nothing I have to say uh, anymore. Y'all can just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. There's only like what two minutes left so I talked pretty much throughout the whole thing and like I said this game could go either way towards the end of the game I actually end up dying more you know my good you know most of my kills came in the uh, first and uh, kind of middle and then I went on like this um this little uh, little death streak at the end and I but I kind of had broke it up but anyway uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay like I said it's very it's a really fun game and uh, yeah if you got this twenty dollars you want to spend um, you know, you could take the chance on it, but like I said, it's not for the impatient, it's not for the faint-hearted, it's more of a simulator than an arcade. Just be warned. I told you that. Don't get mad at me later, alright? So, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, a few minutes that's left. I'm out of here. Peace. Viking! 